in Southwest Florida, we have a mixture of golf memberships available. So today we're gonna to talk about bundled golf communities versus an equity or non-equity membership. Hi, I'm Kayla Hunter. I'm a real estate agent here in Southwest Florida. I also happen to be a local native here. I wanna jump into bundled golf communities first. So bundled golf community is exactly as it sounds. It's a bundled golf community. Most of the members in these communities do have the golf membership. These memberships are attached to the property versus the person. So during the transfer of ownership or transfer of the deed, that golf membership will also transfer. Now, not every homeowner in the community may have a golf membership. They may also have a social membership. Your dues may be lower with the social membership. Usually you can also golf in the off season months. So off season months are generally from May to December. Your golf membership properties, you'll be able to golf annually. Normally there's not an initiation fee when dealing with a bundled golf community. Normally there's no green fees involved, but you may have an out of pocket expense being the cart fee. If you happen to be in one of these communities that do have a bar or a restaurant involved, you may actually have an annual due for your food and beverage. With that food and beverage, I would say average is about $500 a year, which really isn't a ton. If you go there once a month, you're generally gonna spend maybe $100 every time you walk in there for some food, maybe a couple of drinks. So if you happen to go at least five times a year, you will be able to utilize all $500. Even if you don't utilize that spend on that $500, you'll still be charged. Now, bundled golf communities, I would say around town, run anywhere from about 8,000 a year to, I see them as much as like 20,000, um, some maybe just a tinge bit more. So with that 10 to $20,000 range annually, you will have bundled golf included, okay? So you will have golf included with your fees. You can golf as much as you want. All you have to do is book your tee time. There's usually about 600 to 800 members on average for these types of communities. So getting a tee time during season may be a little bit difficult. In our seasonal months, if you don't know, they do run from January, February, March, and April. April's gonna be the easiest month to golf just because it starts getting warm here a lot of snowbirds start going home as soon as it hits easter so generally in seasonal months it may be a little bit more difficult in order to have a tea time the great news with some of these bundled communities is that they do have great amenities so they may have a clubhouse a restaurant bocce ball tennis courts usually a resort style pool maybe multiple pools like a satellite pool they may have a tennis pro shop. So usually you'll have quite a bit of amenities that are included. Not all of them will have the restaurant or the bar, but a lot of the country club setups will. In these types of communities, they do have all sorts of property types. It just depends on the community that it is. So you'll have single family homes, condos, villas. Some of them have town homes. Some have all of one, or they may have a mixture of all. Now, if we're talking equity versus non-equity golf memberships, so these memberships, you typically don't have to even live in the community. It really just depends. A equity membership is generally member owned. They're normally more exclusive and they're more expensive. So not everybody's in the situation in order to be in a membership versus the bundled. Bundle generally is a little bit more affordable, but again, there is some heavy competition when trying to get into the golf courses. A non-equity golf membership is generally owned by an outside source or an entity other than the golf members. This is an easier way, just since when you're dealing with an equity membership, being that it is member-based, you are more involved with what's going on in the club, you take votes, you make decisions, where non-equity, it's a lot more relaxing. You have somebody else that's actually managing the club and you pretty much just go, you play, be able to have some fun and out you go. 
So an equity or a non-equity membership generally will have an initiation fee that's due. It may range anywhere from 5,000 to potentially 100,000. I've seen some higher, I've seen some in the middle. For an equity or a non-equity membership, with the equity membership, your initiation fee may be fully refundable upon your vacating. If there's not a wait list for the club, you may have to wait in order to get your refund. Quite a bit of these memberships do have a wait list of potential members waiting to get in. With the non-equity memberships, it used to be where you actually were not able to have that initiation fee refunded, but that is now changing. I would say if this is something that is a concern to you, then you would definitely want to connect with the membership director and be able to answer that question in full. Obviously, you'll want to know what you're getting into prior to signing up or moving forward with that club. Same thing with the equity or non-equity memberships. You may have a food and beverage minimum if they have a restaurant and bar. Being in a non-equity or equity, you will potentially have a food and beverage minimum due if they have a restaurant and a bar, just the exact same as a bundled community. Now, when we're talking equity versus the bundled communities, there usually is fewer members. So a lot of advanced golf players will prefer to be in a membership-based community or a membership-based club versus the bundled communities. Being in a more private club, you will have less wear and tear on the course. Generally, their facilities are a little bit more upkept or maintained better. They usually will put a little bit more money into the club. And usually they'll have more of a luxury based feel to them, including their bars or their restaurants. One thing I do like to notate is that being in a private club like the equity or non equity, you will probably have a trail fee. A trail fee is when you decide to take out your golf cart onto the course versus renting a cart from them. I've seen them run a few thousand for the year. It just depends, but this is something that they're generally gonna collect ahead of time. So again, we will connect you with a membership director in order to be able to answer all of your questions and make sure that you understand exactly what you're signing up for. Now, I always like to say, as a real estate agent, we do not sell memberships, we sell homes. So. As much as I may know on the membership level, things can change, fees change. This is something that I'll wanna connect you with each of these membership directors and put you in the right track to make sure that you have all of your questions answered. You can take tours of the golf facilities and of the course. We can set you up with all of these appointments. So we just wanna make sure that you're gonna make the right decision on these communities. Now, maybe you're not in the situation that you wanna purchase right away or be involved in a uh, private club. So if that's the case scenario, we do have tons of public courses around town. So you can either get on to golfnow.com or they even have an app that you can download. On there, you'll be able to see all the public courses. You can book your tea time through there. They usually will have specials. The fees during season are gonna be much more elevated than during our summer or fall times. So that's one thing that if you're here during your summer months or during fall, it will be a lot more affordable. It can range anywhere from like $30 to $50 to play versus in season, you're looking at maybe $150 to $200. It just depends on the course. It depends on the location. If you happen to have any questions about any of the golf communities or memberships or just anything here in Southwest Florida in general, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to help. Kayla Hunter, Southwest Florida real estate agent. Thank you. Have a great day.